In this video, I'm going to reveal to you the guaranteed way to get the skills that will help you land your first cybersecurity job completely for free. If right now you have zero technical skills and knowledge and even if you don't have a degree. So if you have a passion and a strong desire to change your life and learn cybersecurity, but you can't afford to pay for training yet, then this is the video that you're looking for. This is genuinely guaranteed to give you the right skills if you want watch the entire video and really take in and apply what I'm trying to tell you here. And yes, it's completely free. And listen, I've been doing cybersecurity for more than 20 years and I've helped so many individuals just like you land the first cybersecurity job. So this stuff works. Now, the first thing that we need to do is build general foundational skills using this free training from Cisco. You will need to do all of these eight courses and start your IT learning journey now. These are ideas for someone with zero technical knowledge in computers and networking but it's also a good refresher for someone with some technical knowledge I'll leave a link to this and all the other training in the description box below once you finish those courses from Cisco you will be faced with a major challenge you see if you look at any cyber security job description you will usually see that they are asking for cyber security certifications and those certifications usually cost a lot of money that some of you may not be able to afford but what if I told you there is a way to to get certified in cybersecurity for free. That's right, ISC2 released a completely free beginner friendly certification where you can do the training and sit the exam and get certified completely free. The training is called Certified in Cybersecurity. It covers all the basics of cybersecurity from a definition point of view. I'd say it's a pretty good general introduction to cybersecurity and you'll get that certification and credential that you can put to your CV or resume or even on your LinkedIn profile. So now that we've built our technical foundation and we got our general introduction to cybersecurity, we should start applying to cybersecurity jobs. But when you do that, you will quickly notice that a lot of jobs are asking you for experience. So the next free tactic that I will give you will help you overcome that lack of experience problem. But before we get to that, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, NordPass Business. NordPass Business is a password manager ideal for businesses that want to improve productivity. Did you know that 52% of development teams have missed deadlines due to issues with accessing infrastructure? NordPass Business makes managing passwords a lot more efficient with easy to configure password policies. In fact, research show that 81% of company data breaches are caused by poor passwords. But the good news is NordPass can help you create strong passwords by default. Now a big security hurdle that businesses struggle with is that they share sensitive information such as PIN codes, passwords and even credit card information over email. So to solve this, NordPass business can help you share credential, payment information, passwords, PIN codes securely without sacrificing convenience between your teammates. With full and limited rights to ensure that members only have access to what they need. But my favorite feature is still the data breach notification because this can allow you to change any compromised password before any damage is done. But best of all, secure your business effortlessly with a three month NordPass free trial using the activation code UNIXGUY at nordpass.com slash UNIXGUY. It's a limited time offer only. And back to the video. Now to overcome the lack of experience, there are free virtual internships from some of the biggest companies in the world that you can do remotely from your own home. Go to theforage.com and click on explore and then click on security. You will see what this platform referred to as job simulation, which are virtual internship there like mini projects with companies like Mastercard, JP Morgan, PwC, and so many more big companies. Those projects are really good. They simulate what a real cyber security project is. So this is a safe way for you to gain that experience even if you don't have a job yet. In this website, they will also show you how to add those virtual internships to your CV or resume. I'll leave a link to that also in the description box below along with all the other links. This is a golden opportunity and you have no reason not to do all of those virtual internships. I still can't believe this is real. When I was starting out, none of this stuff was available. So please take advantage of those free opportunities. Now, once you finish all of those internships, you should start to get 
more traction with your job applications and you might even get a job there but there is a high chance that you will start to face some rejections the rejection is part of the process we all get rejected i still get rejected get used to it however the next free tactic that i will show you will help you reduce the number of those rejections and it will help you increase your chances of landing your first cyber security job for free a lot of individuals who try to break into cyber security neglect this here's a dirty little secret about the cyber security industry that not many people know you see cyber security it's not all hacking and technical analysis and mr robot in fact a lot of cyber security work is not even technical and some of you might be surprised to know that some of those non-technical cyber security jobs pay a lot more than some of those technical roles and the good news is there is even less competition for those non-technical cyber security jobs because everyone's trying to get those cool ethical hacking cyber security jobs I know that because I am everyone. I also wanted to get one of those seemingly cool ethical hacking jobs. So to add non-technical cybersecurity skills to your CV or resume, I want you to do the following free training courses from Qualys. Now Qualys is a cybersecurity company. They are famous for their product called Qualys Vulnerability Scanner. A vulnerability scanner is just a tool that we run to scan a machine and then that tool will generate a report and that report will contain information about vulnerabilities or weaknesses in that machine that hackers can exploit so the process of running that scan itself is not really that technical it's really just a button that you push on a web interface anyone can do it so the first training is called vulnerability management this will show you how to use their flagship product which is Qualys vulnerability scanner really nice and short course that will give you that additional skill for free. The second set of courses that I want you to do from Qualys are GRC courses. GRC stands for Governance, Risk and Compliance. This is an all-encompassing term that refers to all the non-technical work that we do as part of cybersecurity. Now Qualys has a couple of free modules on policy development and PCI DSS which is just a framework that's used in the payment and credit card industry. Now those modules will give you a taste of GRC. They are a very small Small subset of the broad area that we refer to as GRC. Now if you want to do a deep dive in GRC then I created a comprehensive end-to-end -end paid course called GRC Mastery that I talked about in detail in this video so please check it out. The third free course from Qualys is called EDR which stands for Endpoint Detection and Response. It really teaches you how to use the EDR tool from Qualys. It's a really easy training course that's not overly technical. And by the way, all of the courses that I mentioned so far are beginner friendly, so you have nothing to worry about. Now, the biggest hurdle that most of you will run into, which I've seen countless of times from individuals who wanna learn cybersecurity for free, which is that you see there is a problem with free training. There are some genuinely good free resources out there. Everything that I've mentioned so far are extremely good resources that are well put together and will help you land your first cyber security job but i know for a fact that some of you will comment on this video and tell me that there are even more free resources that they managed to find that promise to teach you cyber security and i'm not saying that those resources are bad but the challenge with constantly chasing free resources is that a lot of individuals fall into the trap of the endless pursuit of free training they always want free stuff non-stop. You see, there is a reason why some training is free. Usually the training itself won't cover everything. It will take you so much time to learn one topic and sometimes the quality is not really great. Still, you can learn a lot from free training. But if you find that after doing all of the courses that I've mentioned, you still haven't landed your first cybersecurity job or perhaps you landed your first cybersecurity job, but you feel like there is a lot that you want to learn, then I highly recommend you save some money and invest in some good high quality cyber security training this is how i learned and this is how everyone in the industry learns now i compiled the list of the best cyber security certifications and training that will give you the best bang for your buck they are challenging comprehensive but they are still beginner friendly i talked about them all in this video so please check it out and i'll see you there